You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, let's talk about 2020 when the world completely lost their mind, whether it's from the virus or from woke social justice. Now, when it comes to uh, sports in 2020, the NBA lost their minds. The NFL, they went woke. Even MLB, everything went woke. Sports completely went crazy. And they actually did pay the price for this. The NBA still has not recovered. I have not watched an NBA game in like three years because they went overboard, even though now they have backed off. But the damage is done. The NFL still the same thing, but they backed off a lot. Now, they still have a few social justice messages in the end zone and on the helmets, but nobody did what the um, the NBA did. Now, when it came to NASCAR, you guys know what happened with um, Bubba Smollett. He went full Black Lives Matter, claiming racism here, racism there. And Formula One, they did the same thing. So that brings us to Formula One. Now, I'm not big on Formula One. I really don't um, watch the sport, but they went completely woke in 2020 as well. And I'm pretty sure that their fans did not like that, just like the other sports. Well, guys, Formula One has now taken a stand on the wokeness. The wokeness is out of business. Formula One drivers banned from making political statements without permission. Now, in other words, essentially, Black Lives Matter and all that other stuff, it's not going to be happening. It's not. Let's read it, guys. Formula One drivers and other participants in International Automobile Federation events are banned from making any political statements without getting permission from the governing body, according to the uh, 2023 version of the International Sporting Code. In the updated International Sporting Code published on the governing body's website, the FIA bans, quote, the general making and display of political, religious, and personal statements or comments notably in violation of the general principle of neutrality promoted by the FIA. And I agree with that. Fans go to sporting events for the game to get away from all of the other stuff in their lives, whether it's politics or whatever. When I watch a sporting event, politics is the last thing on my mind. I don't want to see Black Lives Matter anywhere. I don't want to hear any political statements. It goes on. The rules The new rules also state anyone wanting to make statements in addition to having advertisements on their Formula One car will need to be previously approved in writing by the FIA for international competitions or by the relevant ASN for national competitions within their jurisdiction. And you can actually see here some uh, Formula One drivers kneeling. Uh, with a March is uh, Black Lives Matter shirt in racism and all this other stuff out there that fans don't want to see. Additionally, the competitors are advised that failure to comply with the instructions of the FIA regarding the appointment and participation of persons during official ceremonies at any competition counting towards an FIA championship would be a breach of the regulations. The decision from the FIA to implement these rules more than likely comes from the sport has seen a rise in activism in recent years with Black Lives Matter activists and Mercedes seven time world champion Lewis Hamilton and now retired four time champion Sebastian Vettel. The Guardian explained Hamilton, who has been an outspoken campaigner for human rights and diversity, wore a black T-shirt in the 2020 Tucson Grand Prix with the words arrest the cops who killed Breonna Taylor on the front. Now we know about the whole Breonna Taylor thing. The cops got shot at by her boyfriend first. That's what happened. But anyway, the shirt also had a photograph of the uh, black medical worker. She actually got fired. But anyway, who was shot dead in her Louisville, Kentucky apartment by police officers with say her name. Hamilton has also called for more change in Saudi Arabia, 
saying this year that he was uh, shocked to hear of the mass executions and has uh, raced in the Middle East with a rainbow helmet in support of the alphabet rights. Patel used this platform to highlight issues from LGBTQ rights to climate change. Oh, God. This year, he wore a shirt pro- proclaiming stop mining tar sands in Canada's climate crime at the Canadian Grand Prix. In 2020, he wore a rainbow colored T-shirt in Hungary with the message same love to protest anti alphabet legislation. Man. So I guess a lot of the top racers and I don't really know their type uh, their uh, top racers. Tell you the truth. Seems like they're all in on the wokeness. But I'm not surprised that the governing body for Formula One would say, "Nah, that's it, man. This is going too far. We need to get back to actually focusing on the sport instead of wokeness. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, that some of these uh, woke uh, drivers will probably end up applying to get some kind of an an exemption. But something's telling me, guys, that it's probably not going to work out. I don't believe you're going to see Black Lives Matter. I don't believe you're going to see climate change everywhere with uh, Formula One. I don't know what percentage of our listeners actually are in the Formula One. But if you do watch uh, Formula One, because I don't know much about it, let us know in the comments on how woke Formula One was. Based on what we know so far, it was pretty woke, pretty damn woke right there. You saw the pictures with the Black Lives Matter stuff. When you see that, you know they probably went off the deep end. But the governing body is now taking a stand. No more wokeness in Formula One. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.